this video, we'll talk about one of the most important features of Figma Auto Layout. I promise you definitely love it. Before getting started, I want to say thank all of you, my amazing friends. We got lots of lots of energy from your comments and your feedback. You empowered us to keep going with more passion and energy. Please keep it up and let us know how we can make our next video a little bit better in comments down below. Thank you in advance. Let's get started. Okay, to getting started, let's create a, for example, button component. Press R on your keyboard and draw a rectangle like this. Press T on your keyboard, right button. Okay, just is it. So maybe our button should be a little bit smaller. Okay, you know, just we should adjust everything and just have a consistent spacing from every direction that we have it's almost in center yes but let's have a component we call this component or we call button component so we can command d to have an instance of this component as you can see here if we need a button we call it get started for example get started now so again, we should size this one and make bigger. Uh, so we want to have uh, this spacing right here. Hold Alt or Option 53. We should recalculate all of this. We can see this near to this side. No, this, it is hard to do that. It's not the best way to create a button component, for example. Let's try another Y with Auto Layout now and see the magic so we have a button we'll write first write the text it's up to you can first create a rectangle we'll fix this one also but let's go with button hold shift a to have a auto layout as you can see these two changes here we can see a frame the icon like pause icon and here we have auto layout in the design panel as you can see design panel we have auto layout with these options available. So we will talk about these guys in this video. Very cool. Let's make it in the center. And we want to have a 10 pixel for each side. We want to have a white background. For example, have a border radius of six. It's okay. So we have done. We have a button component. So let's uh, button two, button with auto layout. Okay, and have a command D to have a, another instance of it. So we can change it in a, for example, we call it OK. So it's resized to OK. And we want to have a, another one for get it started. So as you can see, magically grow with our text. And that's it. And as you can see, we have a 10 for each side. So if you click on the component, 10 for each side, you can change, uh, for example, we want to have a 16 for left and right and 10 for bottom and top. So it's a replicate to all of instances. Also, we can fix this one. We can hold shift and click on this rectangle and hold shift A or you can press shift A or in auto layout in here, you can click on this plus icon. It automatically created a auto layout. So yes, that's it. We can do it. So if you expand it, you have a button, just text in it. It does look like what we did here. And yes, it grows automatically. And yeah, that's it. It's a super simple introduction to the auto layout. You can use it for almost anything. In cool. Let's create these three components that we told you about them in the beginning of this video. For saving time, I just bring icons. If you don't know where you can find icon, we'll talk about this uh, in the previous video. Please check it out. So let's get us started. Okay, so we need a, an icon. Let's duplicate it, this text. So as you can see, you can grab all of them, select all, most of these 
liars press shift a and from here make sure they are in center it's important and we can have a space between so a space between these two elements let's have a 10 for now and let's have a, another one hold alt or option and move it right here again select all of them and shift a and again make sure they are center okay awesome we have done and let's have a for example 10 pixel for padding around this element we have a background color for here so press plus here which is white we want to have a almost four pixel around it as you can see here maybe one or we have a little bit more 16 for left and right you can make them bigger so you can play around with these properties the padding from top left bottom or right you can play around with them but there is a tip here if you want to for example make a little bigger maybe make a little bit smaller they are stay in the center we don't want to be like this so for doing this we just click on the biggest one as you can notice here we have a packet option and a space between so in space between we also have like this if you go to the packet you see the 74 pixel but when you can change it to space between it automatically adjusts spacing between so if you make a little bit bigger it's still right here for that spacing that we told be 16 pixels so it is magic and this is fancy so let's create a component for this one we call it search input with command r or control r you can always rename the name of liars in your design okay so let's grab a copy of it control c or control v of this component or just grab this component right there if you can see we have a little bit bigger okay that's it and let's check it out the 16 and 16 from left and right and 10 from top and bottom awesome let's create the next one the next one is be a little bit challenging but let's get started with uh, this text this, this circle shift hold shift and click on this hold option and grab them uh shift a right there and uh, make sure they are center awesome and again we want to this icon and text hold shift a again for making out the layout grab all of the shift and we want to have a four pixel it's so as you can notice we have we can have auto layout in both direction vertical and horizontal so if we do that you can see so uh as you can see uh we have uh, this kind of image so let's jump over click copy of this image option hold option and up here we grab this image from unsplash plugin Click, make sure click all of things together. If you have a group at this section, you can always ungroup them. So yeah, again, select all of things to here. Shift A again, and make sure they are in center. We want to have a fill icon. So just click on this frame, press I on the keyboard and select the color of this rectangle. Awesome, we've made it super easy so we maybe need this play icon you can create from the polygon shape like this and rotate it like this you can use it so we cr can create it let's reuse this one i put right there okay select this frame make sure you select all things yes the center make sure in our center again press i on keyboard and uh, tada we have this things here top Make sure there are space between and let's have a from the left we want to have a 16 a pixel if you want to have a space between this you can always go here and uh let's remove this spacing to have a, something like looks like better yes that is done command r to rename it we call it playing music okay and create component right this Okay, and the next component and the last one we want to do, click on this old option and click anything. If you want to uh, select a specific thing, hold control or command to select them. Awesome. 
So we have uh, something like this. We want to have a component. Shift A for making this one as auto layout. Uh, but as you can see, we can select all of them and we just find four pixel is good for existing for here. Let's go for pixel for between space icon and awesome. Select all of the figure in here. Shift A for having a frame around this and press I on your keyboard. Grab the color. Awesome. And yes, that's it. So we created this one. Uh, make sure they are so at this moment you can see difference between packed and space between it. So this is packet version, you can see nothing happened. If you change this one to space between, it's no difference right there. But if you resize it, you can see the difference. There are space eventually between these items. If we add another item inside, they are still have a uh, same spacing between them. We can add a more icons, but still they are in the magic way they are spacing. They don't need you to do that. Let's create, change this one to space between. Awesome, we have created this. As you can see, we have a little bit spacing from the top. So make sure we have a eight pixel from top, I think. I think 32 is good for left and right. And let's 32 for bottom of thing. So that's it, I think. Let's make it 12 because it's a little bit. But let's rename it uh, to navigation. Always remember to name your layers meaningful. So let's have a copy of this and copy of this. And let's grab all of them. Control Command X and paste them right here. We can use this one. As you can see, this one needs to be resized. It's resized perfectly. Okay. And we uh, can put it right here. Let's zoom in. Make sure they are in the center. Okay. And push a little bit to bottom. We are done with this video. We have created a bunch of components with auto load. If you feel that we need more explaining about auto load, let us know in comments. Sure, we will do in next video. You know, just try to create uh, anything with auto layout. And let us know about it. Please share your designs. If you don't know, press on share on uh, button here and share it with us. Just copy link and paste this, this link in the comments. We'll check it out and we will surely uh, be happy to see your designs and what you've done. Thank you guys. Please like this video and share it with your friends if you like it. Until the next video, happy designing.